Hello everyone, this is an overview of Windows 8 on a netbook. Um, this is my Gateway L2408U 10.1 inch netbook. Um, this is pretty much an average netbook. 1 gigabyte memory, RAM, 320 gigabyte hard drive until I'll add on my 2600 media graphics accelerator, 3600. Um, for our battery life, all that good stuff. Um, so it's pretty much your average netbook. Um, so it's Windows 8. Um, I'm um, gonna kind of just show you around um, what it looks like. But the only thing that doesn't work is the Metro apps because on a netbook, your screen resolution is 1024 by 600, and on Windows 8, you have to have a screen resolution of at least 1024 by 768 to run Metro apps. So on any netbook, it's not gonna work. Um, the Metro apps at least, but everything else works flawlessly as you're about to see right now when I power it on. Um, and this is powering on from a shutdown. So, um, there it is. I just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like when it's booting up from a shutdown. Um, and also show you how fast it is when it boots up from a shutdown. So from Windows 7 starter, it took about probably a minute and a half to load up all the gadgets and everything. But now, as you can see, how fast it is. Um, that was like about maybe 20, 30 seconds. So um, this is the basic, um, the new newest feature of Windows 7, the Windows 8. Um, not Windows 7. <laughs> um, this is your start menu. No more little Windows icon that you see at the bottom of your taskbar that you press, which I rarely used it. So I do like that this is the new look of the start menu. It's a lot more useful. It would be more useful if it had, um, if the apps were working. So I was going to just, um, you can see here there's, um, this is your start menu, basically. Um, they're just gonna show you what I'm gonna move them with this thing at the bottom. And then I posted all my little shortcuts right here. Um, you have the bing bar. And this is how you get to your desktop. Um, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but then I just have a bunch of shortcuts as if it was a home screen. Um, so here's, you'll see here when you go into the side, when you hold your mouse there, at the very bottom, you'll see a little menu pop up. And then, um, you can right click here and go to all apps. You can see all the apps that you have installed on your computer. Um, so this is the thing, let me show you, um, what it does. Let me try to open it. This is the message. This app cannot open, the screen resolution is too low for this app to run. And that does it with every single Windows 8 app you have. Um, so that's the only problem with Windows 8 and that book. So now that I've shown you the only problem, let me show you um, how it's awesome. So here's your desktop right here. You can see the desktop wallpaper. And you just click on that. And you have your desktop with all your shortcuts and everything. It does not support gadgets. Because, mostly in the start menu, there's where all your gadgets are, but since the apps don't run, then it doesn't really work that well. Um, yes, I have a wallpaper slideshow. Um, that's why it just happened, which, um, that's the feature in Windows 7, and they kept it in Windows 8, which I like. Um, you just gotta see there. Um, your taskbar. And it pretty much looks the same down here. Um, but you may notice... You may have noticed that the taskbar is a little different in color. So, um, that's not a feature of Windows 8. Um, that's not like the average color the default color. I've changed it. Um, and it's a lot easier to change stuff in Windows 7, in Windows 8. A lot easier than Windows 7. I'm going to personalize. And then it has all the stuff in one place to choose 
what kind of stuff um you have personalized. You can change the desktop background, the color, the sound, put the screensaver all in, in one place. Um so then I have little themes here. And you can adjust the color here. So watch I'll show you this is another thing I have. And it's set to orange. See so if it changes. There. And it's blue. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then, while I'm at it here, this um, is what a window looks like. I'm going to say it looks a little different. Let's see over here. And there's a lightsaber cursor that I found off um, online <laughs> that doesn't come to fault with it. Um, but then there's what a window looks like. Everything's solid. It's not clear like it has been in Vista and Seven. So, um, that's your basic desktop and Windows and stuff like that. And um, so you might be wondering how I do that. Um, that's just your start button. And you tap it again to get to the desktop. And then also, if you don't want to use the start button, you can go down at the very far corner. And click that and go to start and there's a start menu go there and get to the desktop so it's very easy to get to the start menu and to the desktop because if you think about it it was in the lower left hand corner the old start menu on Windows 7 and you pretty much go there to get to the new start menu or just to the start button so it's pretty cool and I do like the new features um the new start menu I like the way it looks it looks really cool um it looks more modern and fluid to me um, I definitely like it better than Windows 7, even with the apps not working, it still is really cool because I'm able to personalize my start menu, make it mine, um, it looks more modern and fluid, and even though it's kind of especially designed for touch, it still works very well with a touchpad and a keyboard, or a mouse and a keyboard. Um, so pretty much if you have Windows 8 on a netbook, this is how you make the most of your start menu. You just kind of pin a bunch of shortcuts to the start menu, which is easy, just like you would um, normally. Um, in the old one of seven, you would just hit pin the start menu, and then it would pin it there, and that's how you do it in Windows 8. You can see I have a bunch of shortcuts for my favorite games and stuff like that, um, and useful programs and stuff. So. That's how you make the most of Windows 8 on your start menu with your apps not working. Um, and you see, you can have your account there. And start. And you can just personalize this, what this looks like, and the color of it. Um, so, yeah, it's really cool. Oh, I definitely like it a lot. Um, I like it better than Windows 8, I have to say that. Um, I like a lot better. Um, I mean, I like Windows 8 a lot better than Windows 7. Um, it's more fluid, fast, it looks modern. Um, and I definitely wouldn't revert back to Windows 7 if I had to. I definitely, I wouldn't want to do that because it just isn't the same. It just, it looks really cool. It looks modern. Um, it seems more like a mobile device, I guess, because it's touchscreen. So it almost seems more like a mobile device, like a, a tablet or something. And it, I don't know, it just seems like it can do more, almost, than Windows 7. And it just feels um, more like yours, like your tablet. You know, you have it, you carry it around, and you're like, yeah, this is mine. There's no doubt that anyone's going to mix this up. Um, and Windows 7, of course, it had a lot of personalization options. But on the book with Starter, you really can do a whole lot. But now you have, this is the Pro edition of Windows 8. So, um, if you have the Pro Edition, which is only 15 bucks if you bought a computer between, I believe it was like sometime in July, and then the offer is still going on now if you buy a Windows 7 PC, up to January 31st, 2013, you are able to get Windows 8 Pro for $14.99, which is what I did. And, um, it really works quite well on a netbook or on, um, on a other, on a, computer that has a supported screen resolution it would look even better um because you could do the app so your normally your start menu would look like um, it would have a bunch of icons like camera and then it would have music and 
games that you download from the Windows Store, but right now this is all um, that you can do if you have a netbook. Um, but that's about it. It's pretty much um, this is just an overview um, of Windows 8, what it looks like on a netbook. Um, but um, there's a lot of new features um, that I won't get into because it would just take way too long. Um, but um, but the one thing that does look a little different is powering down. The one thing that, that's just a little trickier. You have to go into here, the menu, settings, power, and you can sleep, shut down, and restart. Um, and then you have all these other little things too. Um, but that's a little bit different. Um, and then change PC settings. And here's your personalization um, choices, which that's kind of cool. Um, so that's pretty cool that you can do that. And then you can go into here. It's a little bit easier to change settings rather than going to your control panel and doing all that stuff, which I'm pretty sure you still have control panel. Which, yes, you do, because I've used it before. But um, this is a lot nicer. It just feels more modern and easier to use. It's almost more user-friendly. Um... It seems like they're trying to make Windows a little bit easier to use, a little more friendly to people that maybe don't might not understand them. Um, so that's pretty much it. That is Windows 8 on a netbook. And um, I hope this might help you decide whether to upgrade or not. I would definitely recommend upgrading, even though you can't use the Windows 8 apps, the Metro apps. It doesn't really make a difference because it's not like it's taking away from Windows 7, because Windows 7 didn't have this in the first place. So, it's kind of like you're getting... Like, if you're upgrading from Windows 7 Starter, you're definitely getting more features, because you don't have to download, like, a side program to change the wallpaper. Um, like, you don't have to download a program from the internet to do that. You can do it from here. And you have a lot more personalization options, and it feels just a little bit more modern and cool um, than Windows 7 Starter. So, you already you're getting more features, and yet you're getting this cool start menu. Even if you can't use the apps, it really looks really cool. Um, so if you're not running a netbook, I would recommend it even more. If you don't have a netbook, if you want to upgrade on um, another computer, I would definitely recommend doing that because um, with apps, I've used it before in, um, in stores, um, whether where they were showing it off, you know, showing it off, trying to get people to buy it. Definitely, that was awesome. Um, with when the start menu icons worked, you have live weather, live photos, and all that stuff. As you can see, this thing keeps changing. That's what most of the tiles do, like weather. Your weather thing would move around to show you the weather. Your photos would f flip back and forth. Um, so, the start menu would be a lot more interesting if this wasn't a netbook. But, um, it still does look pretty cool, even though it is a netbook. So, that's your overview of Windows 8 on a netbook. I would definitely recommend it. And, um, that's about it.